If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. And this is a book about Bill Belichick being the greatest football coach of all time. And the headline is, some staff members believe the Patriots could replace Tom Brady with any NFL starting quarterback and win the Super Bowl, according to this book. And uh, I think they said they topped 15, you could get 15 quarterbacks who could win the Super Bowl. Anonymous quote here. Yeah, Paul. I have a simple question for the guy behind me. Do you agree in principle with that quote? McLovin, you're behind, Paul. No. You're lying. <laughs> you're lying. I would just get killed too bad. I mean, Brady threw 50 touchdowns one year. I don't think 15 quarterbacks that's, could do that. That's an anomaly year. He usually throws about 30. Brady's already proven <laughs> everything he has to prove. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's Brady 1, Belichick 0. You agree that if, if any top 15 quarterback could do about the same work with the Patriots year to year? I don't. No. I, I got even I, Mr. System quarterback, that's a very radical statement. But have you ever like the New England coaches always say arrogant things like that? They seem to be really full of themselves. Right now we're talking about yesterday. We're gonna look at his play from yesterday, but getting to yesterday is what Tom Brady is about. Having guys like Rob Gronkowski come over, having a team that says, okay, Bruce Arians, I wanted to punt the football, but Bruce, I think we can get this first down. Bruce, I like the matchup with Kevin King. Let's go at Scotty. Let, let's go to Scotty Miller. Bruce Arians saying this week, you know what? Bill never let him coach. Sometimes I just sit back and let him do his thing. All of those things come with Tom Brady. Tom Brady is now like a hooper. Tom Brady is like when KD goes to a team and you say, you know what? They can win a championship. LeBron LeBron James changes conference, and now the Los Angeles Lakers become champions. That's who Tom Brady is. He's a force multiplier. He makes everyone better, and yesterday we saw that. What do you have to say about Tom Brady coming into a new system, a new organization, and proving yeah. everybody wrong that he's not just a system quarterback everyone thought he was and helping take, take well, Tampa to the well, Super Bowl? Well, well, Tom, he doesn't care what people say. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but uh, that's just an opinion because the facts are there. Um... It's, it's hard to do what he did, come without an offseason, uh, learn a new system as a quarterback, the hardest position in all of team sports, and to uh, just pick it up like he's been doing it for uh, running this offense for a long time. Um, you know, obviously we got better, you know, as the year went on. But, man, uh, Tom's the GOAT for a reason, and, uh, you know, he, he played great all year. And uh, we needed him to do that, and we got the goal that we, we were uh, aiming for. Uh, this was from Mike Reese of the Mothership. Then we'll bring in uh, Peter King. Uh, the quote is, um, one New England assistant said the general feeling among staff members around that time wasn't that Belichick's system could make Super Bowl quarterbacks out of all 32 NFL starters, but if you gave us any of the top 15, we could do it, the assistant said. I don't think the coaches view Tom as special as everyone else in football does. Mr. Kraft thinks Tom is the greatest gift ever, but the coaches don't. There is plenty of data to evaluate Bill without Brady. And for whatever it's worth, it's not a pretty picture. Bill Belichick coached exactly 100 games before Tom Brady's first start. He was 42 and 58. Most of that was in Cleveland, where he took over a Browns team that had made the playoffs five out of six years. He coached them five seasons. He had losing records in four. By the way, Nick Saban was his defensive coordinator four of those five seasons. And yes, the ending was a terrible situation. The team planning to relocate to Baltimore. Factor that in however you like. Then he went to New England. Belichick was 5-13 and 13 with Drew Bledsoe, number one overall draft pick, at quarterback. Then Brady took over. In his first start, he beat Peyton Manning and the Colts by 31 points as a double-digit underdog. He then went 13-3 and three the rest of the way and won the Super Bowl. Brady went on to average 28 points a game as a starter over his Patriots career. That is the most by any quarterback ever. In games started by anyone else, Belichick's teams have averaged 19 points. Brady also won six playoff games in which his team allowed 28 or more points. No other quarterback has ever won more than two. And Brady made himself a salary cap bargain in none of his championship seasons. Was Brady a top 10 cap hit in the league? So what does all of this mean? Certainly doesn't necessarily take anything away from Belichick as a coach. I believe he is the greatest in the history of American team sports. But the facts are the facts. So if he is ever going to accomplish anything without Tom Brady... He's going to have to start doing it now. But I don't believe that there are 15 quarterbacks who are going to do what Brady did. What do I think about those things? 
I think after year one, after Super Bowl one, if somebody had said, uh, this is not, we could win with a lot of quarterbacks. Maybe after Super Bowl two, if you said that, maybe. But after Super Bowl three and after Super Bowl four and after the 16 and 0 season, whoever says that's an idiot, period. I mean, it's just a stupid thing to say. Do you watch the games? Do you watch Tom Brady play football? I I just, when I read that, I just said that's, I don't know who said it. I have no idea, but I just think it's foolish. I also believe that Tom Brady should move on. They gave him a bogus contract with no guaranteed money in the final two years. He's never gotten paid what he deserves. And I'm talking about as being that quarterback that's won six championships. And they never took that extra money that Tom Brady was helping out the roster, and they never brought in guys to help him bolster up his uh, offense to help Tom Brady. So why stick around? Get away from Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Do you understand that last year the New England Patriots offense was ranked 27th in yards, 27th in points? They had the 30th ranked passing attack, which was third worst in the entire National Football League. Do y'all know that for the previous 14 years, 14 seasons to be specific, the New England Patriots offense never ranked lower than eighth ever in 14 years. And then the one year Tom Brady leaves, Cam Newton comes on board. They go from that to 27th, okay? And 30th in passing. And you know what? Try to beat Peyton Manning and win another championship elsewhere so people will know and your legacy will they be know. It, it. Tom Brady was not a system quarterback Stop who it. just he, benefited I, off of he's Bill Belichick. He's the GOAT to everybody on earth except you. And, and you calling him a system quarterback. It's system quarterback, Bill Belichick has had coached seven seasons without Tom Brady. Guess how many times he made the playoffs? Once. Even in New England, don't get me old with the Browns were horrible. No, it wasn't just the Browns. He should he should have had he another two, one. He, he had coached, eleven wins when Brady was hurt. Did they make hurt. the playoffs? No, they didn't. But okay, they were eleven and five. Matters. It's not about the best. Right? It's about making the playoffs. Tom Brady proved that he deserved far more respect, adulation, and deference from Bill Belichick than he received, and gratitude because he disguised Bill Belichick's deficiency as a GM. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had not been to the playoffs in 13 seasons. Tom Brady shows up, and here they are in the Super Bowl. Let me start by saying, Patriots fans, listen, okay? I think Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback who ever lived, okay? Are we all clear? He's the greatest quarterback who ever lived. Push comes to shove over Peyton, over Joe Montana, over John Elway, over everyone I've ever seen. If I had to draft quarterbacks all time to start their careers on my team, I'm taking Tom Brady. Okay, got it? Tom Brady's just about done. It could be his next game he plays, it could be a year from now, but he is going to fall off a cliff. You made that prediction in 2016, Max. Since that time, Tom Brady has been to three Super Bowls. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.